Hello guys, welcome to episode 7 of the Gillingham Express, it's Bad Jokes FM, back at you once again with another video. Today is the 8th of December 2019, so quite a lot of time has gone since the last game, you was with me for the opening day of the season, and since then it's, we've gone about halfway through the season, we've now played 19 games in the league, couple extras in the checker trade in the FA Cup. I have just sort of blasted through the first half of this season. Uh, I was expecting just to do very well in the league and for it all to be very easy. And at times, in patches, it has been. But now it is starting to get really interesting because today I've got two cup games for you. I've got a cup game, FA Cup, at home, sorry, away to Oxford in the second round of the FA Cup. And after that, we've got Yeovil in a checker trade nonsense. I'm actually taking that seriously this year because I think we've got a team where we could go very well in that competition. But that could all change because I have got a big, big, big dilemma for you guys and for me to try and deal with before the next episode. Because if we have a look at my inbox, I've just been offered... The Birmingham City job. They are currently in League One. If we just have a quick look, they're 16th in League One. I think they've only just been relegated from the Championship. If we just have a quick look at their history. Oh no, sorry, there we go. It was on that screen. Yeah, they yeah, just got relegated from the Championship last season. And so they was predicted to finish first in League One. But for whatever reason, it's not gone well for him this year. And so they've offered me their job. If you just have a quick look at some of their players, sort of no one particularly excelling too much. But I've had a quick look. I've had a sort of general butchers at the squad. And there's a lot of potential there. There's a lot of ability in the squad. So what do you do? What do you do? I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna put a poll up down below. I'm gonna invite questions. I'm gonna invite comments, and I might put a poll up on a few of the Facebook groups that I post these videos in. Uh, what would you do? I am quite enjoying being at Gillingham. I have only been here just about a year now, and um, we are we are only tenth in League Two, but on our day. We can beat everyone and we can go on a run. If we have a look at our results and our schedule, how we're only 10th, I'm not too sure. Because like I say, you was with me there for the Port Vale and the Fulham games. And since then, we've not really lost too many on the bounce. We've beat Bradford and Forest Green. And then after that, we drew another couple and beat Cambridge in the Tech of Trade nonsense. Uh, but then since then, we did go four games without winning then, which may have hurt us a little bit. But again there, we've been on a run. Northampton, Carlisle, Crawley and Notts County all beat in the league. Leighton Orient Fleetwood followed that up with two draws. And yeah. And if we just scroll down. After that, we did lose another couple on the bounce. But we're doing okay, I think. I think... We can go on a run. I do still expect us to get promoted. So I'm really unsure as what to do. Just a quick little side note. I did almost get the Norwich job in the championship. Uh, they offered me a... Uh, I had an interview with them. And that all went really well, I think. And they did say that if I'd got that job, I would have got a £12 million transfer budget. So if they'd offered me the job... I would have been, bye, see you later, woohoo, bye, Gillingham, thanks for the memories and all that. But that didn't occur. They went with the Millwall manager, can't remember his name in a minute, but he's taken that on. And so I've just been offered this Birmingham job. If you have a look at the job screen, there are a few I have applied for. If we just take it up by this, can we do it by what I've applied for? No. Okay, so we've applied for the Cholton job. We've applied for Birmingham, obviously, as you know, because I've been offered the job. Uh, Swansea in the Championship. Uh, Middlesbrough as well. 
and Nottingham Forest, and just for a cheeky little laugh, I've just applied for the Everton job. So, I think I'm going to delay the Birmingham job offer for a week, just to give you guys a bit of a chance overnight to sort of inform me what you think I should do, what you would be happy to see going forward. Because after all, this is now a journeyman save. So the so the objective, obviously, is to get up to the Premiership. But I am enjoying being here at Jingleham. When we want to, we can score goals. And we can do very well. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to delay it for a week. I'm going to try and get some comments online. And I will be back with you with an answer on that tomorrow. So if we just go and delay that now. And Birmingham are happy with that. And let's crack on with today's first game in the second round of the FA Cup. Away to Oxford. And this is the team I've chosen to go forward with that. As you can see, we've gone back to the 4-2-3-1. And we've gone back to the narrow version. And since we have, things have been going very well. And this is the team we've gone for. All shopping goal. Matuk, Rice, Rodon and Jackson as the back four. Hesenthaler and Herrera in the centre of the park. Gribbin, Martin, Keener and Surridge as our four attacking players. And just a quick little side note. Callum Gribbin. Oh my gosh. He is amazing at free kicks. He has got us out of trouble so many times this year with his free kicks. I know I went over this quickly when we signed him. But his free kick is 17. Down at this level. That is just phenomenal. Let's see if we can have a quick look on his season stats. See if we can get anything about his free kicks. Uh, nothing I can see there. But surely some of you will know where to look. And if you do, please let me know. Because the amount of goals he has scored from free kicks is just redonkulous. And so, with all that said, let's see if we can pick up a win today. To get us into the third round of the FA Cup. And maybe if we can draw a big team, that might be enough to keep me here. If we can get some one of the big, big Premier League boys. As just, yeah, I've started this video a little bit earlier than normal. So it might take a little bit longer to get to the game. But here we are. And the media prediction for this game is saying that Oxford are the favourites. They are mid-table in League One. But I don't see them being that much better than us, to be honest. Like I say, when we're on our form... When we are on our day, we are a match for anybody in this division. And maybe apart from the top four or five in the league above, I think. As now let's go. We're going to challenge the team to pick up where they left off. Because we did win our last game 5-1. Against York, who are very much relegation fodder in our league. And some of the lads are motivated. And let's crack on and pick up a win. And then draw one of the big, big teams at home in the next round. And so, yeah, guys, a bit of a big dilemma so far in this episode. If you guys let me know what you would like to see, I'd very much, very much be appreciative of that. As now, with a corner, it's Gribbin to whip it in. Gillespie heads it away. And who's going to get to the ball first? It's Martin. And can he find a teammate? He does. He finds Jackson. And Jackson back to Martin. And Herrera, in a little bit of space, gets it to Rice, to Gribbin. And Gribbin gets it wide to Keener. Keener into Martin. Back to Gribbin. Some nice little football going on here as we pass it about. And Jackson with the cross. And Surridge is in. 1-0. Six and a half minutes on the clock. Sam Surridge, with his 16th of the season, has us leading away at Oxford in the FA Cup. Very nice goal there. And now let's just hope that the 3D isn't going to be as jittery as it has been in the last few videos. I have been working on it and I have been trying it out. So it should be better now. If it's not, let me know and I will get, try even more to get it sorted. But as for the actual game, Jackson with a cross and Surridge knows exactly where that ball is going. And he gets there first and puts it into the back of the net. Very nice start. And Gribbin now with a corner. Heath heads it away. And Martin should get there first, and he does. And now it's Jackson with the ball. Hessenthaler. Back to Martin. And Martin out wide to Gribbin. And Gribbin in the box. What can he do? He crosses it in. It's Surridge. It's 2 0. 2 0 Gillingham. Nine minutes gone. Sam Surridge with now his 17th of the season. And we are rampant here. This is what I'm saying. This is why it's such a dilemma for me. Do I stay here? Where we can do things like this to the team in the league above us. 
or do I go to Birmingham because they are a massive club who really could do with an uplift. But now it's a free kick, it's gribbing with it, it's so it's Rodon, it's 3 0. Rodon, 3 0. Joe Rodon with his first of the season. I think it's his first ever for us. And this is madness. 18 and a half minutes gone. Gribbin again with a brilliant free kick delivery. Surrey just flicked it on. And Rodon put it past the keeper. And surely we are in the hat for the third round of the FA Cup already. With just 20 minutes gone. As now we win the ball back. But they nick it back off Hesenthaler and May. Please, please don't be called Teresa. He gets it out wide to Heath. And what's he going to do? Heath to Henry. And what's Henry going to do? He gets it back to Heath. Heath's going to cross it in, I think. And he does. But Rodon gets it away. And Martin gets it. And he plays it forward to Surridge. Surridge past one man. Very nicely there. You can see we are full of confidence. Gets it in the box. It's gribbing. It's 4-0. Oh my gosh. 21 minutes gone. This is a team, the league above us, and we are outclassing them. This is a very, very good performance. As we just see it here, Surridge gets it past the man and Gribbin with an excellent shot there. What, what is this going to be at the end of this game? This is absolute madness. I think the game's calming down a little bit now. We have gone 20 minutes without a goal. I'm quite disappointed now, to be honest. I was sort of hoping we'd get five or six before half-time at this rate. But they've got it back. The last 40 seconds before half-time. It's old Teresa again to Clipston. What's he going to do with the ball? He gets it. He does nothing. That is why we're outclassing them. They are just completely impotent going forward. As now, wow. What a first half that was. I am so happy with that. That is madness. And now no one's taking much notice of that team talk. But they don't need to. Just go out there and grab another couple goals. What's your prediction for this lads? Let me know down below. I'm going to say 6-0. Six, six That's what I'm going to be putting my money on. As Heath now with a cross. And Jackson heads it away. And now that's gone out for a throw in. If I was a betting man, which I did used to be, but not anymore, I would be putting money on, money on at least six. Come on, lads. Make it come true. 55 minutes just about gone. I think Oxford have given up all hope. I think we're starting to go a little bit easy on them. I would love another couple goals. As Joe Rode on there, he's on a 9.0 rating. Sam Surridge is on an 8.9. As now it's Gribbin with a free kick for us. And Rodon again with a head at this five. Joe Rodon, he scores one, he scores two. And that is now 5 0. Wow. What a performance. As Gribbin with another brilliant free kick delivery. Rodon gets to the ball, beating his man in the air. And that is now 5 0. I am just going to make a couple of changes now just to rest people. Surridge may not be happy about this, but we need him going forward. I know he's on a hat-trick. I know he's got the possibility for a 10.0 rating. Oh, I haven't thought about it though. 10.0 rating. That would be beautiful. Uh, I'm going to be wrestling for the next game anyway. Let's risk it for a biscuit. I am going to take Gribbin off though. He has been just phenomenal today. I'm going to get Elliot List on. And also I'm going to bring on Osadebi for Herrera. And leave it at that for the time being. And now here we go. Last 20 minutes. Come on. Get us one more goal. Come on. Come on Gillingham. This has been one of the best performances I think I've brought you on camera. Really is making m my dilemma about the job opportunities even more difficult. What do I do about that? How can I leave a team when we can play like this? As now just coming towards the end of the game now. It's Gillespie with a free kick for Oxford, but that goes miles, miles wide. But then on the other hand, if there is teams as poor as Oxford in the league above, Birmingham were predicted to come first. Could I dominate that league with Birmingham? What do you do? But the game is finished. We have won 5-0. 
We are in the hat for the third round of the FA Cup. I would love it if we could get a big, massive team at our stadium. Really help out with the finances. If I'm still here. And so, I'm going to leave it just there for the minute, guys. Or do I just carry it on? You know what? I'm going to carry it on just to, for the FA Cup third round draw. Just to see who we get. As now, Surridge has broken a Gillingham goal-scoring record. 17 goals, the most in this season for any Gillingham player. And we should have the FA Cup draw in just a moment. As all, oh, I've got another couple of teams requesting backroom staff changes uh i'm gonna do that off camera you know what i will be back with you for the checker trade game in just a moment against yeovil i will see you guys in a moment hello guys we're back and as you can see the dilemma has got even more complicated as if it could get any more complicated really but here is the situation now charlton and nottingham forest have both offered me their jobs Charlton offering me a 1.16 million transfer budget on a hundred with 100k per week wage budget. They are currently seventh in League One, and they are doing quite well, as you can see. They're only just outside the playoffs on goal difference, and only five points behind automatic promotion. And so things are looking quite good for them, and they seem to be doing okay. Let's just have a look, quick look at their general information. Finances are okay. Chairman loves the club. No, well, there is quite a bit of debt, but nothing I don't think I wouldn't be able to sort out given time. And then the next job after that is the biggest one I've been offered because it is Nottingham Forest, who, as we have a quick look here, are still in the championship, but they are rock bottom. They are 24th rock bottom. Let's just see how far they are behind everyone else. They've only got 13 points. They've only won three games all year. So they are six points behind safety. And just have a quick look at their general information. Okay, finances. Again, chairman loves the club. Estimated value, 22 million and only 8 million of debt. Well, I say only, but 8 million of debt is 9 million too much of debt, in my opinion. And season ticket holders, just under 14,000. It would be nice to get up to the championship already, but I'm not too sure if Nottingham Forest is the right move just yet. But they are offering me the biggest transfer budget and the biggest wage budget. And they're offering, offering me the most money per week on my contract. And Charlton don't really want too much. They've just said, endeavour to maintain a good level of squad harmony. I think it's the same with Forest. Yeah, they've said the same thing. And league expectation is to avoid a relegation battle for Forest. And for Charlton, it's to at least reach the playoffs, which with the position they're in, you can see them doing. So again, I'm going to delay these two for a week. And I will include these in my posts online. And if you guys who watch this, who watch this, if you could let me know what you would like to see me do. If you'd like to see me carry on with this team, if you, you'd like to see a little bit more of Gillingham, because we are flying at the moment, as you just saw in that last game, please let me know, and I might be happy to do that. And so, like I say, I'm going to delay these now. Just delay them for a week, and Forest, I think they should be okay. Everyone should be okay with this. They normally are for the first week, and let's just see what they've both said about that. I think, judging by that, yep, they're both okay. And so, I'm going to leave it up to you guys, see what comments I get. And so, we have got a game today, it is a checker trade nonsense. I have rotated with the team a little bit, well quite a bit as you will see. Because I don't want to knacker the team out, we, the league is far more important. Like I say, I did want to take the checker trade nonsense seriously. But just a day after an FA Cup game, it's just a ridiculous place to put a, another Cup game. And so the team for today is all shopping goal. Kenlock on the left now. Rice, Mello, Kapkin completing out the back four. Osadabi and Herrera in the centre of the park. Oldica, McDonald and Gribbin just behind Masaro. Gribbin is, is coming off on an hour no matter what. He is just phenomenal. He's been one of our best players this year. And actually just before I changed all the team about, 
Our first team, everybody is on over a 7.3 rating, I believe, which is just phenomenal. So that is one of the things that is making me maybe think about staying here. And so let's crack on with today's game in the checker trade nonsense. And let's see what we can do today with this very much rotated squad. And the media prediction is saying that we're not a bad side, but we're having a poor run of form of late. Mm, not quite sure why you're making that one out, mate. We've scored 10 goals in the last two games. Who have you been watching? And they think the overall should be beating us. But again, Oxford were predicted to be beating us and we put them to the sword. And so let's hope that we can do that again today. Let's give the fans... Nope, we're going to get a great opportunity to show all the critics they're wrong. And let's hope we can carry on the good momentum and the good feel today. And also, one other thing just to mention. Uh, I did do the FA Cup draw off camera. And to say it's a little bit interesting could be a bit of an understatement. We have drawn Liverpool away. So we are going to be playing at Anfield in the third round of the FA Cup. And this is Liverpool, our parent club as well. Just to make it a little bit more interesting. As now Yeovil come across. And also with a great save there. So yes, yeah, something else even more to make me think about staying here. Because how great could it be if we go to Liverpool and pick up a result. So I really am in a quandary as what to do. So like I say, I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Let me know what you think down below. And I will crack on with whatever you guys suggest. As now 25 minutes gone in this game. Is Yeovil on the attack again? Is Khan with the ball? Back to Wanmar. And Kenlock heads it away and Gribbin is the first to it. And can he play it long? Can he find a teammate? He finds Oldica, which is a brilliant name I think. He gives it to Masaro. And Masaro, can he get it out wide? He can. He gives it to Kapkin, who gets it to Herrera. To Gribbin again. And McDonald now. What's he going to do with the ball? He gives it to Osadebi. Osadebi to Oldica. And Oldica back to Mello, who's picked up an early yellow card. And now Rice, and we are playing the ball nicely here. We are keeping hold of it. Well, having said that, Yeovil have now nicked it back. And now it's Lua with the ball. Osadebi nicks it back, gives it back to Rice. And then it's Kenlock, it's Gribbin. And Gribbin, what's he going to do? Is he going to get out wide? He is. He beats his man. Can he get across? And he can. It's Masaro. It's 1 0. It's 1 0. We've, we've scored again. We are 1 0 up here against Yeovil in the very, in very important and prestigious checker trade nonsense southern section. And let's just have a look at this goal in all of the 3D. Gribbin beats his man, just continuing on his form he's been on. And Masaro with a very nice header. He may not have played much lately, but goal scoring with someone like him is not something you forget. He is a natural born goal scorer. And here we go, just coming up towards half time. And um, nice first half there. We're in the lead. Couldn't really ask for much else. Gonna say to the lads, I'm happy, keep it up. And they're all extremely delighted. And it's Dolan with the ball for Yeovil. To Khan at the start of this second half. And a few of the Oval players, I did just notice before half time, are looking a bit tired. And so hopefully we can exploit that. And we can get another goal just to make this a bit simpler and a bit more com comfortable. As now the ball goes out wide to Wanmar. He gets it into ease. It's Gran and oh, what a stop. What a stop from Allsop. Even Allsop's in form now. I thought for sure that was going in the back of the net, but he got a hand onto it from somewhere. And now it's Dolan with the ball, and Allsop picks that up. He is feeling confident now. And what a performance we are having in these two games. 55 minutes gone, and as promised, oh, I'm a minute late. I'm so sorry, fella, but Gribbin is coming off after the hour. Going to put List in there, and I think I'm going to put... Do I put Hessenthaler back on? Yeah, Herrera is looking extremely knackered. So Hesenthaler goes in there. And there we go for the last 29 minutes of the game. I did promise Gribbin his rest and he has got it. He's deserved it with that assist for the first goal. Hopefully we can pick up another one. As now it's Yeovil going to pick up the ball here. It's Mugabe. And Masaro's stolen it off him. Well, I don't know what he was doing there. But thankfully he's got himself in all kinds of trouble. But Masaro's not made him pay. Which is a shame, but Yeovil have not looked 
like challenging us going forward. And so with just 10 minutes left, can we hold on and continue on in this world famous checker trade competition? Can you notice how I'm trying to big it up now that I think we've got half a chance of winning it? Now I want to win it, it's the most important cup in the world. Trust me, it's still not, it's still nonsense. But we get the ball to Oldica, to Masaro. Masaro with a shot, 2-0. That wraps it up. Masaro's come back. He's back in the sort of form he was in. Back at Newport. I realise I'm saying back a lot. I can't think of any other words I can think of for, for that word. As here we go. Masaro showing the form he showed previously. There you go. That's a different word. And we are 2-0 up. That should be the game. All sealed. And that's Dolan with the ball. And Lua heads it in. Ah! Oh, I know I said this a few seasons ago. I remember saying it. But Lua, Lua, Lua. He's got a consolation for Yeovil. And Dolan with a corner. And it's Lua with a nice header there. Also should have done a little bit better maybe. But hopefully it's not going to matter too much. Three minutes left on the clock. 90 seconds remaining now. Allsop plays it long. And what's Oldica going to do? He doesn't win it. That's what he's going to do. It gets to Eves. Osa Davy wins it back. Nice little bit, bit of work there. And now it's List with the ball. And he gets it to Hezenthaler. To List. And McDonald gets there. And he finds Masaro. No, he doesn't find Masaro. Oh, no. The ball's ping pong about Masaro. Masaro with a hat trick. Masaro, three goals. You do not forget how to be a goal scorer when you are someone who is as natural at it as Marco Massaro. And what a goal. Oh, 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 oh. Marco Massaro. Does that work? I'm not too sure if it does. But I think it's something I'm going to be charting a bit more. I think in this kind of form, he's going to force his way into the team a lot, lot more. As now, they're just passing the ball about 30 seconds remaining. It's list with the ball out wide to Oldica. And Oldica to Massaro. And Masaro to Oldica. And Oldica back to List. And yeah, ball just ping-ponging about a little bit here. Can't see too much happening. And now what's, he, what's Lua going to do? Get it to Vincent. And just 10 seconds left. Come on, ref. We all know the result of this game now. Let us all go home. And now the ball goes back to Allsop. He clears it long. And it's List. And that is game over. 3-1. Very successful episode there. We have advanced in both cup competitions. Very, very happy with how this is all going. And that is where I am going to leave it for today, lads. And like I say, if you could please give me your comments on what you think I should do going forward. If you think I should stay here at this free-flying, free-flowing goals-mad Gillingham squad. Or if you think I should go to Birmingham or Charlton or Forest. Just let me know. And if you would like to see what finds out, please if you please like to find out what happens, please subscribe to the channel and please leave me a thumbs up if you have enjoyed this video. I am Bad Jokes FM. I am out.